no! What? Right, we're on. Does that look familiar? That's right, another hooked tee shot. Today's focus is driver. Stop hooking driver. We're going to talk about two things within this. There's path relationship with that club face. That's what we're going to work on today. We're going to stop hooking this driver left of your intended target. I also have a little raffle prize today. I'm going to be giving away some of my equipment, so stay tuned for that. So what causes the hook? It's an in to out swing path. Now I've played a club down there, and if my golf path of my club hitting in this direction is from in to out, that's going to tilt the axis of the golf ball, the ball spins around the axis, and of course that gives you the curvature. The face in relation to that, there's the iron, in to out path. If my face in relation to that is square to the path, then I'm going to push it straight right. If my face is closed to the path, pointing left of the path, I'm going to get curvature to the left. Assuming a centered strike on the golf club. Assuming a centered strike. So if I swing across this line, so that line there, if I swing across it from in to out, with the face left of that path, this ball is going to start where the club face aims and then the axis tilt is going to turn that golf ball and I'm missing target to the left all the time. There is a slight clause though, if you swing into out by let's say 10 degrees and your face is 5 degrees left of that and you hit the middle, you'll draw it back on target. But generally the face is closed to the path. The face is closed to the path. So let's talk about path first. So I need to ensure that I get this club path going much squarer or less into out to stop tilting the axis in that angle. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to place my club in head of the golf ball, one, two club heads ahead on my target line, then I'm going to place a tee, one, two ahead on the target line, and I'm going to place a tee right there where the heel of that golf club was. Let me just move this away for just now. So now my target is here. I've gone one, two club heads down that target line and I've placed a tee right underneath the hosel of that golf club. Address position, one ahead, two ahead, tee under the hosel. So this is going to change path. So now instead of swinging straight towards camera, which is perfectly square, before with my hook I was swinging in to out, so going this side of the camera. Now I want to make sure I strike that tee. Now this is going to change path from in to out to more out to in to hit this tee. So let's just look at the address position. How are we going to achieve that? How are we going to achieve that and what's the face relationship to that new path? Well, before I tell you that, I said I was going to give away some of my equipment. Do you remember my Smithworks wedges? This one here is 58 degrees with those funky grooves that spin unbelievably well. Well, I'm going to give one away. I've got a brand new one here in the wrapper. Look at that. And I've left a link below in the description on how you can win this. It's a small raffle prize. It's only going to cost you £2 to enter, which is not even $3 for the most spinning wedge in golf. And yes, it's legal. And I'm doing this as a thank you for you guys. It's You guys have supported my channel a lot. Um, I really, really appreciate that. I'd like to give something back to you guys. Um, the proceeds and the funds from the raffle go back into the channel to allow me to continue to create the instructional content that you guys have interacted with so well. Right-handed, 58 degrees, 11 degrees of bounce, brand new, straight out of the wrapper, ready to spin. Click the link in the description, follow the details, dead, dead simple. Postage and packaging, I'll pay for that. If there's any custom fees or duty to be paid on import, then it's up to you guys to pay for that side of things. But I'll look after the postage and packaging, I've got that covered for you. And as I say, it's just a little raffle to give you guys something back. It's, it's so much appreciated, the, the volume of subscribers I have now, 91,000. Um, 17 or 18 million views and that's you guys and I'd like to give some of my stuff back to you and also boost the channel in a different format just something new back to the driver hooking situation so the path is now going to be more out to in I'm going to feel that so if I take this tee away this ball away and I just address that golf ball there okay so I'm going to push that into where my normal ball would be easily take my normal address position but I'm going to move myself forward to there now that looks extreme but if I swing back over where the golf ball was and then down hit that tee you'll see that my path is now out to in it's going to be out to in 
on every swing. It has to be. It's my address position. Remove the ball. Pop that down. Take my normal address position, as you can see is there. Move myself way forward. See the club travelling left? Excellent. Club face still square to target. Out across the original tee and back across the original tee. Out to in, out to in, out to in. That's going to fix path. Let me address one. One, two, tee under. Excellent. So yes, that's now going to address path. But the ball may still go left. Let's try one. So address position. Feel my club face square there. Move it back over to the golf ball. Just trying to keep the club face square to target. Great. And then I'm going to swing, normal back swing, but I'm going to take this tee with me as well. So I'm just going to pop that down a little bit. Shallower, a lower tee. It's going to make it be a little bit steeper. Higher tee, more into out, more chance of hook. So slightly lower tee. Good, address position. Get myself there. Excellent. Move back. Now I'm going to swing it back to here. Good, so I'm there. I'm good. Good. Good, so I've got a high cut. Okay, high cut. Took the tee with me. Goodbye, hook. One, two, boom. Now if I had released that golf club there, and released, so I'm coming down here releasing this club, my club face is closing, so there's a chance I'm going to start further left and go even more left. Now that's not a good thing. So what do I do to ensure that's not happening? Well, when I played that high cut there, by starting off in my address position, moving the club forward, so in and forward to there, my right hand comes more stretched and more underneath. I'm now stretching more for the golf ball, keeping my right hand underneath. This is face relationship to path. The face has to be open to the path to get it to go left to right, square to the path for a square shot. And as we know, when it's closed to the path, we are going right to left. So here we go, step on. Normal address position, normal ball position, good. I've moved myself two club heads and one in to get to the middle of the tee. Brilliant. My right hand there feels more under, feels more under the golf club. Good. What's that done? It's opened my shoulders. It's going to dictate the path of the golf club more right to left or out to in. Loads of good things going on here. Loads of anti-hook moves. Remember that. It's an anti-hook move. People are going to comment and say, Steve, you're going to slice it all the time now. Or I'm going to go further left. Just trust it. It's a drill to try. That is mega important. It's a drill to try. Dress position. Normal. Moved forward two club heads and in. Good. So now I can feel where I want to be coming through impact. More open shoulders, more right hand underneath. Back through, back to that position through this tee. So I'm there, right hand's more underneath. You can see I'm cutting across. You can see the face is staying open to the path. So I'm there, swinging to this tee. Feels like that impact. Feels like that at impact. Rehearse that move, rehearse that address position because that's where you want to return to. There, returning to there, going back along this path. Continue along that path, right hand's more underneath, I'm there. Boom. Took both tees away. Path was out to in, face was square, ball went straight. So with lots of shots like that. One, two, under. I then need to reduce the action. So I need to take a slightly smaller action, reduce it all, because I've got to play golf. I can't just keep chopping across the golf ball with the face open, but it gives you the opposite feeling of what a hook actually is. And a hook, as we know, is an in-to-out path with a face close to that path, subject to a central strike. So now we leave the tee there. We'll take our address position, the tee there. We'll adhere to it, that's where we want to feel. Now we're going to miss the tee, but we still want to feel that right hand underneath through impact and swinging towards the tee. So we've exaggerated the motion by being there, through impact will be much more here, much more square to target because we're the opposite of where we were. This is a real and feel, you know, we've exaggerated the opposite of being out there is coming in here. We've made you come in here to feel the exaggerated motion and now we're going to tone it down. So if I take the tee away actually, I can take my address position. I'm good there. And then from there I'll put myself, I can just feel this where I want to be. Just bring your club in, feel your right hand going under. Your shoulders opening, that's where I want to be. Good, and then step on from there. Lovely little fade. That was good. Again, no tee this time. Address position, 
move it a couple forward and in, there's where I want to be, that's the position I'm trying to get to, and then from there I can take my swing and feel that motion again where I want to return to. Look at that tiny little soft fade off the left side of the fairway. What a hook! There we go, I hope that helps you to get rid of that nasty hook with your driver. Remember this wedge of course could be yours, just click that link in the description below. Also subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification and the thumbs up button and I'll see you in my next video. Well done getting rid of that hook. Good luck with winning your new wedge.